126 times 294? 126 times 294 is 37,000. Hey guys! For past year I've been using a Mesfit GTR as my daily wearable and you can uh, watch a review in this video here if you're interested. But it's time to make some space on my wrist for Mi Band 5 because it arrived a couple of days ago and ever since I've been testing it. So today we're gonna talk about Mi Band 5 and why I like it and what is not so great about Mi Band 5. So let's start with the comfort. Now, as you can see, this is much bigger and heavier than the Mi Band 5 and once I swapped it for Mi Band 5, I could instantly tell the difference because I can't even tell after a couple of days that I already have a Mi Band on and I have to check my wrist to make sure it's there. It's so light and so convenient to wear. It's not the first Mi Band device that I actually reviewed. Previously, I talked about Mi Band 2, 3 and 4 and now I have a Mi Band 5 so I can draw some conclusions. And because this is a technical review and I have aspirations of becoming a tech blogger, let's start with specification. First of all, probably you want to know about the display. Is it good? Of course it's good. It's as good as the Mi Band 4. It's clear and visible in a daylight. You won't have any problems reading from it. And the technical specifications of it, it's a 1.1 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 126 by 294 and here's the catch it's only about 2500 pixels more than the previous display and comparing to the fact that it's almost 40,000 pixels in a display like this it's only slight improvement but what happens they actually drop the uh, depth of the color so on Mi Band 4 you've got a 24-bit color and on Mi Band, Mi Band 5 you only have 16-bit Moving on, we have an additional sensor, which is 6-axis low-powered uh, accelerometer, which means that the device is going to draw slightly less power uh, when monitoring steps in the background and activities like that. Obviously, in a high-intensity and measured workouts, it will kick in the 3-axis uh, accelerometer and gyroscope, which is going to put it on pair with Mi Band 4. So why am I mentioning the low power sensor? Because the battery on the Mi Band 5, it's actually smaller as well. It's only 125 milliampers, so that's 10 milliampers less than on the previous version. And the battery life lasts around two weeks. However, in my testing scenario, when I cranked up everything, it was about seven days. So with reasonable uh, policies on brightness, uh, timeout displays, etc. I would uh, confidently say that you're going to get more than 10 to 12 days on uh, Mi Band Live, depending on how often you're going to go and work out. Those are the only differences between two bands for the most part. Even the hardware remains the same with the same amount of flash or RAM. But despite the physical similarities and the fact that they almost look alike, you won't be able to use accessories from Mi Band 4 on your Mi Band 5. That collection of bands in different colors, well, it's essentially useless. Right, let's leave the unexciting hardware behind and focus about new features and interface changes. Now, this is quite exciting, but because we're moving from six activities to 11 activities, however, there is still no support for uh, press-ups, uh, squats, and uh, sit-ups, something that even my six years old LG Urbine is supporting. So why it's not introduced it's there, even though they're quite popular activities? All the features include uh, stress monitoring, breathing exercises and menstrual cycle monitor, which is something that's been missing uh, on other versions of the app. And I think a lot of female users would really appreciate that. What I don't understand is why those features are not available as a software update on Mi Band 4. Those are mostly software changes and there is no reason they wouldn't be present on the previous iteration of the Smart Band. Looks like Xiaomi really wants to push you to buy Mi Band 5. I've mentioned changes in the user interface, so let's talk about this as well. Mi Band 5 supports swipes up, down, touches. There is a specified home button, but you also can swipe side to side to bring new menu. That new menu is fully customizable via Mi Fit app, and you can pick and select your favorite features. This way, your favorite option on the Mi Band is never further than two or three swipes away. 
On top of that, there are changes in the way the watch faces are designed. If you hold and press on a watch face, not only you can swap a different watch face, but you can finally add custom elements, I'll call them widgets, to your watch face. You can either pick one or two widgets and pick a selection from different widgets showing you from graphs to specific information about the weather or just uh, what is your current heart rate. So, for science I did two things. First of all, I shaved my wrist. Second of all, I went running and I don't like running. So, I also went cycling, something I really like. So, what is it like? It's actually pretty great. Now, for the most part, uh, the information presented on your Mi Band is really readable and you get access to the most important information. So, your distance, your speed, your pacing, etc. Now, Every now and then when you reach the distance achievement, it will buzz, so you always know where you are exercise-wise, even without looking at the Mi Band itself. Now, it's really shocking how accurate the actually Mi Band 5 gets. In my previous review of Mi Band 4, I complained about wrist method in terms of um, uh, monitoring your heartbeat, but um, I have to say that not only the Mi Band 5 was consistent in the readings, but it was always within two or three beats away from my Rockstan uh, Sigma Sport uh, cycling computer with a chest strap, which I consider a be accurate benchmark. In a similar fashion, cycling with a Mi Band was also possible, although it's more difficult to control it, obviously, because you need two hands to do anything on it. With that said, you'll still have an access to the most important metrics, and they're very accurate. Also, the distance and speed will depend on the GPS, so you have to bear that in mind. Now, the disadvantage of this is that in activity mode, Mi Band is unable to go to any other screen, which means you're not going to have a music control. Not that it matters because the music control and a new feature, which is a shutter remote control, because you can take a picture now from the wrist, are bound only to work when the appropriate app is open on the phone. So if you don't have a music app open, you won't be able to trigger the app. You can only control the playback once the music is streaming and the same goes for controlling a shutter. I've actually fixed that with a tasker action for Mi Band 4. You can take a look at the video in here. It will probably work with the Mi Band 5, but I will definitely take a look at how to implement those changes for the camera and the music uh, app for the Mi Band 5. The last thing I've noticed was that my phone wasn't reporting altitude changes during exercise. Now, this is obviously a fault of a phone or application itself, not the wearable. And uh, I confirmed that by running a same MiFet app with my Pixel 3 phone and the uh, altitude changes were recorded correctly. There are also small changes to mobile notifications. They are much easier to read. However, there is no predefined responses that you can issue. Uh, the weather app now includes information about sunsets, about UV and quality of air. And apart from that, you've got the usual features like clocks, steps, monitor, timers, events, and a mysterious pie score, which basically tells you how lazy you are. Before my closing thoughts, I'd like to thank Banggood for sending me Mi Band for the review, and you'll find the link to Mi Band in the description of this video. Would I recommend the Mi Band 5? If you don't have a sports tracker, go for it. It's the best sport tracker you probably can get for that price. However, if you have a Mi Band 4 device already, then it's a tough sell because you're only going to get a couple of features that you're going to enjoy. And comparing that with the fact that, well, there is a rumored Amazfit 6 device, which is a twin of Mi Band 5. Supposedly, it comes with uh, Alexa, uh, blood oxygen and NFC support for a very similar price then you probably want to wait a month or two and see how that pan out and whether the rumors are true. At the end, it's only around £30 or so on Banggood, so it's not an expensive purchase. Do let me know what you think about it and whether you're gonna buy one yourself or as a gift for someone else. Okay, and we're heading to the section when I tell you I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to get updated about whatever I do, it's best to pick a social media from down below, and uh, that way you're gonna get a notification whenever I have new content. Obviously you know how YouTube works, I'm not going to teach you that. As for now, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye! All the new features include measuring stress, breathing exercises, <laughs> I lost the breath. <laughs> I should try practice more, more often.